This is the sand that the magnetite that I make paint out of comes in, but this post or video is not about the magnetite, but about the sand that gets left over when I take the magnetite out. Turns out I can make paint out of this sand as well. So in a previous video, we made watercolor medium together. And one of the things I forgot to talk about is the fact that depending on what kind of pigment you use, some of them need a little bit extra of one of the ingredients. And what I'm finding making um, paints, especially from rocks and some of the sand, is that there are, you know, there are more minerals in this rock than just the thing that's giving me the color. And some of these rocks have a tendency to go a little bit, the paint goes a little bit chalky. Hopefully you can see that here, see in this corner. And um, one of the ways to deal with that, if you want that to go away, I mean, you may not want that to go away. Here is, here's that uh, sand color. And it's actually, it's a nice flat, um, you know, matte color, but I can make that color a little bit more intense by adding extra gum arabic. Gum arabic will act almost like a varnish and you know how varnishes can deepen colors. So that is what I have done here. This is this, these are all the same paint. I've just added um, more gum arabic here and so I get a more intense color. You have to be a little careful because it's too much gum arabic in your paint and you run the risk of it cracking and it also could get shiny. And I don't know if you can see that here. I don't like my paint shiny, so, but this one's good. So that is one way to deal with that. And um, what I do is just, you know, this works for most of my colors. This, these all are great with this recipe, but with this one, I would just add a few more drops or so of the gum arabic, you know, to get a more intense color if that's what I wanted. A couple more things. When you are mulling up your paint, you can add the extra gum arabic then. Or, uh, like what I did here, was I just added an extra drop of gum arabic to the top of this when I was re-wetting it. Um, that way I can still get this paler color um, if I want to from this pan. So you can do that either way. The other important thing is that uh, your sand needs to be soft enough to be able to be mulled up on your glass plate if, you know, between your muller and your glass plate, if your sand, if the hardness of the minerals in your sand are harder than your glass, all you're going to do is wreck your glass and your muller. So something like this, which is garnet sand, I can't grind this up on my glass plate. All it does is scratch my plate. So just make sure you test it before you go all out so you don't ruin your equipment. Okay, thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.